Good morning to all of you. Welcome back to Hospitality Engineering. Today we will start one more module, Fire Safety and Prevention. Purpose of Fire Prevention. The purpose of this fire prevention is to eliminate the causes of fire, prevent losses of life and property by fire, and to comply with the model buildings by law. Goals Life safety The purpose of this fire prevention plan is to eliminate the causes of fire, prevent the losses of life and property by fire, and to comply with the secondary goal to prevent the property damages. Protection of the equipments By preventing, we can limit the damages and operations will carry on immediately. What is fire? The F defines find the fire, I inform the fire, R rescue, R restrict. E excuse the fire or evacuate or exit. Usually the fire consider as a fire triangle. There are three main element fuel, accession, heat. The fourth one is chain reactions. Hemistry of fire. For many years the concept of fire was symbolized by the triangle of compassion and represented by fuel, heat and accession. Further, fire research determined that a fourth element, a chemical chain reaction was a necessary compound of fire. The fire triangle was changed to a fire tetrahedron to reflect this fourth element. A tetrahedron can be described as a pyramid which is a solid having four plant faces. Essentially, all four elements must be present for fire to occur. Fuel, heat, accession and a chemical chain reaction. Removal of any one of these essential element will result in the fire being extinguished. You can see here fire tetrahedron. Mechanism of fire extinction. Physical mode, cooling, blanketing, starvation. Chemical mode, chain reduction. The chemistry of fire extinction. Physical mode, cooling. The most commonly used firefighting medium is water. Water absorbs heat from the fire and cools the fuel to a temperature where it is no longer produces flammable vapors. Blanketing By separating the oxygen from the surrounding atmosphere, by covering, the fire will be extinguished. Physical mode Starvation Starvation is achieved by removal of the fuel burning in the fire. Sometimes combustible material can be removed such as by shutting off the wall or fuel flows. For example, if fire happen in kitchen, immediately you can cut down the your LPG gas by closing the valve in the gas bank. Chemical mode Stop chain reaction Stop or interrupt the chain reactions between the fuel, heat and oxygen, the fire will be extinguished. Specific method of execution fires often involve a combination of more than one of the four principles. Heat from where fire starts, short circuits, matches, chemicals, spontaneous frictions, earth leakages, lightning, heat transfer. There are three important heat transfer. They are conduction, convection, radiations. How do you understand the conduction? If you take a one rod and put into the flame, the heat start to transfer from the flame to your hand by the molecule conduction. Molecule will each molecule will transfer the heat. 
so the heat will transfer from the flame to your hand side through this is called the conduction convection simple example is boiler when water is boiling inside the vessel what happen the hot particle goes up colder particle come down thus the convection is started there radiation simple example the heat comes from the sun is the example for the radiation classification of fire usually there are four types of fire now there is a fifth type also added we will see one by one the class a solid fire class b liquids class c gases class d metals class k kitchen flammable fat oils classes of fires class a combustible solids these are fires involve solid material of an organic nature namely carbon components such as wood paper cloth etc they are the most common class of fire class b combustible liquids fires involves liquid or liquefiable solid such as organic liquids oil paints fat thinner etc class c combustible gases this class of fire involves gases in either vapor or liquefied form either as a spillage of the liquid or leak of vapor methane hydrogen acetylene propane butane etc are example of likely fuels class d combustible metals fires involving metal such as magnesium aluminium sodium and potassium certain organ metallic components such as alkyl lithium and grignard reaction fire classifications we will go in detail class a fire combustible solids fire involve the solid material of an organic nature namely carbon components such as wood paper cloth etc remember class a fires leaves the ash when you burn wood or paper definitely you will get some kind of ash as a residue maximum travel distance for employee to any extinguishers is 75 feet which is 22.9 meter or it should be less cooling for execute the a class fire the cooling is a best method the water type is 940 foam type is 10204 cp type is 2171 class b fire combustible liquids fire involving liquids are liquefiable solid such as organic liquids oil paints fat thinner etc to extinguish this b type fire blanketing and smoothing is recommended mainly we are disconnecting the oxygen carbon dioxide extinguishers are used the foam type is 10204 co2 type is 2878 tcp type is 2171 are recommended for extinguishing the b class fire class c fire flammable gases this class of fire involves gases in either vapor or liquefied form either as a spillage of liquid or leak of vapor methane hydrogen acetylene propane butane try chemical extinguisher here mainly dcp type is 2171 co2 type is 2878 are recommended to extinguish the fire class d fire flammable metal combustible metal fire involving metal such as magnesium aluminium sodium potassium certain organ metallic component such as alkyl lithium and grignard reagent example aircraft wheels 
TCP type IS 2171 special TEC powder. Those are example for the D class fire. Class K fire. This class K fire kitchen fire recently recognized by NFPA National Fire Protection Association as per the article 10. Fire involving compostable vegetable or animal non-saturated cooking fats in commercial cooking equipments. Thank you for watching. Soon we'll see you with next video. Thank you for watching. Soon we'll see you with next video. If you have any feedback, please write an email to me. If you subscribe our channel, please like it and provide your feedback regularly. If you are not subscribed, please subscribe it. Thank you.